What's up video, it's Sufan from TechCycle. Welcome to another Windows subsystem for Linux tutorial. It's not going to be about installing any of the applications into the Windows subsystem. It's going to be uninstalling Windows subsystem. So let's begin. So, after using Windows subsystem for Linux for a long time, my PC was very laggy, it is like a slow. So I decided to remove Windows subsystem for Linux as I have made an installation tutorial which you can find over here I have just uninstalled this so I have tried to make it a video and I think it will be very useful for many of you guys so let's begin to the tutorial in your PC open command prompt and type the command lx run space slash uninstall it is going to uninstall Ubuntu if you want to uninstall Ubuntu completely, that is, if you want to delete the entire file, just add the line space slash pull. It is going to uninstall it completely, removing the entire file. And it Y and enter. It is going to do the confirmation. If your uninstallation is successful, it is going to show it as uninstall successful. I have encountered an error. I will show you guys what the error is. So what I did is I just restart my computer and open bash on Ubuntu. It has shown that there is no WSL installed. So my uninstallation was successful but it was not that successful. It has not deleted the file. To delete the file we need to do it manually. For that open your user folder, app data folder and choose local and there you will find the LXS folder. And in that folder delete the entire file. This is going to take some time to delete the file and as it is a huge file, I am going to just skip this deletion. So after removing the entire file or deleting the file, open control panel and open program and features. In that menu, choose turn on windows feature on or off. Scroll down to bottom and uncheck windows subsystem for Linux and press ok. It's going to take some time, it's going to turn off win Windows feature that is Windows subsystem for Linux. It's going to show you a restart dialog box. It's going to have two options that is restart now or restart later. Choose the option you prefer. That's it. So by following this guide, you can uninstall the Windows subsystem for Linux successfully without any problem. If you face any problem, you can just comment down, comment over here. So I can fix your problem, I will help you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video hit the like button, if you think this video is awesome. If you think this video sucks, hit the dislike button and let me know so I can improve my contents. And if you are searching for any other videos like this or anything else, just come down below or you can do that on Twitter, Facebook or Google Plus. Link will be in the description and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.